Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans, where creative planning and organization comes to life. I'm Stephanie, and today we're going to be designing my faith planner for the month of January. We'll be setting up a monthly layout and overview spread, as well as the quadrant weekly layouts in a dashboard classic happy planner. So come plan with me. And I'll be using some different washi tapes, as you can see here, to get things going as well as some stamping ink and stamps and brushes. I've got this highlighter here as well that I may use. Some washi dots as well. Some washi stickers on a roll. This Happy Planner sticker book. And these Plenty Things sticker books that I'll be pulling from. Okay, you guys. I already kind of started planning out how this was going to look on some wax paper. I am going to go ahead and use some washi tape on the back side of these pages just to stick the bottom halves together. That should make the application of these Distress Oxides a little bit easier. I'm going to be using those as a background to the stickers. so. It just makes it a little bit quicker and faster to do it this way. That way you don't have to butt them up against another sheet of paper or something when you are applying the inks. And I'm just using a blending brush to apply the color, mixing both the blue and the like soft green tone together to create kind of a muddled, soft, misty look. And now that I've got that in, I'm going to go ahead and pull in the stickers. These trees are all from the Planning Theme books that I'll have down below in the description. They're a mix of different trees from uh, each of the books, so each one has a different style of tree. So you should see me a little later pull them out directly from the book, but for now I just wanted to get a sample to see how they would look together and how I can make it all kind of work on this one spread. I'm also going to layer over some white washi tape as a bit of snow. Not sure if I really needed this extra step. I kind of liked it with just the blue muddled background. But uh, the snow does give a little added dimension with that washi tape overlay. So I went ahead and did it throughout as a feature of the like snowy scene I'm trying to create. And I'm using a Sakura Jelly Roll white pen to just white out those fine lines at the bottom of the month with the empty days so I can get a nice clean background for a majority of this sticker decor I'll be putting down here. And we'll just roll off these stickers down at the bottom since they're already placed where I pretty much want them to go. And it just makes it a little bit easier to replicate exactly what I had on the wax paper when I roll off the stickers. And that looks good. Just going to do a little bit of cleanup behind some of the overlapping stickers, making sure that those black lines don't show through. And that all looks good. And then I had this one washi tape sticker from the roll I had from the washi tape shop. And then this other one as well, those two quotes are from that sticker roll. So a majority of the decor I think I'm going to be putting on the page is in. And now I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to lay in these washi dots. So for 2023, I'll be using the monthly layout for my daily reading. So I'll be reading the Bible again in a year. I have a plan that I usually follow and just every day there's a passage to read so I'll track that on the monthly. I'll also be adding in a summary of things um, that I read so either it's going to be a just like a one 
takeaway item that I want to focus on for the day from my reading. It may develop into something a little bit more of a summary later down the road, but I'm just going to start with that takeaway kind of idea. That way I can apply the reading to my life and really get something concrete to use to enhance the day. And so I'm applying just a gradient of color of those washi dots on each of the monthly boxes. That's where I'll write in the daily reading verses. So I'll just have it kind of in line with those circle stickers. And then I'll write above it the summary or the takeaway. And those washi dots I got a while back and was using them last year on my future log. Really liked them. So I'm just trying to find some different applications for them within the spreads. And I thought this one was a nice one to have pull in a little bit of added color there. And now I am stamping in some snowflakes using those same two ink pads. I did this and I kind of liked it, but the scale of the snowflakes was so large that I decided not to do it on any of the other spreads. It looks okay, but like I said, I just felt like the scale was a little bit off compared to the trees, so I ended up not being in love with that. And then I also kind of went back and forth on whether I wanted to do this night sky washi on the top to kind of finish creating the scene, covering up a lot of the mixed media elements I had there. I think it looks good with and without. It just definitely has a different feel with, so I went ahead and went with it, but I definitely thought twice about it later down the road. You'll see me think about actually pulling it back up, but like I said, I like it. It just was a little bit more of a harsh line than I really wanted, but I do like the added color and the effect of the night sky there at the top. So. I thought it was an added benefit that in the end actually was a good addition. So I've laid it in and I'm also using that white pen to complete the letters of the month and the year at the top just tracing it out through what I can see through the washi to show on top of the washi tape. That way I didn't have to white out the month itself and then add a new sticker. And I think it just kind of adds a little bit of extra to the top there with the white overlay. Now that I've got that in, I think we're ready to move on to the next set of pages. And I'll go ahead and lay in some wax paper here again, just to kind of work out what I'm going to do with this overview page. Now this overview page is a new addition to this faith planner. I did show the setup in the lineup, but not this overview page. I ended up adding this in over the month of December when I started working out how my planner was going to flow. And I felt like this would be a really good addition to my planner to have a home base for some items I really liked from previous setups. Like in years past, I had a currently page with some prompts, which I really liked that. So I brought that in as well as a space for a prayer list. My very first faith planner was in a monthly layout from the Happy Planner. And this overview page is very much based off of that setup. I have a version of it in my shop called the monthly tasks layout. So it's a little bit more simplified as far as it doesn't have the props put in and it does have some boxes at the top as well as uh, no headers for, you know, like where to put the prayer list, but it's a really customizable layout. So I thought I would start with that and then just kind of tweak it to work with my faith planner and add all the elements that I wanted in.
I do eventually plan to have these available in my shop. If you are interested in this overview setup and are working out of a Happy Planner Classic size, you can contact me on Etsy and we can work out a quick custom listing. Um, eventually I'll make it so that I have it in various sizes, but I don't know how quickly I'm going to get that into my shop. So if you are working out of a Classic Happy Planner and really want this layout, just contact me via Etsy and I'll give it to you at the price I will be listing it at once it is in my shop. It's already ready to go since I've designed it for myself. I should be able to get it to you pretty quickly. And I am kind of working out how I want this page to shape up. I removed, like I said, some boxes from the very top uh, left side of the page. Those you'll see in other overview pages that I have within my planner. If you saw my planner set up, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I really didn't need those for my faith planner. Those are usually used for like goals or priorities. So I just went ahead and removed them from the spread and it gives me a little bit of extra space up here for some decor. I added in that prayer list there as a header above the lines and then also the prompts, like I mentioned, but everything else is pretty much the same as the normal monthly tasks overview page. So I'm able to add a little bit of decor in kind of a triangular relationship to each other. I've got one on the side at the top, one on the side in the center, and then one at the bottom, not quite in the center, but you know, not on the side either. And I think that's making a nice balance for the spread. Adding one of each of the type of trees I am using from the three different books to tie everything together color-wise and, and feels-wise. And I'm going to go ahead and get ready to do a little bit more of the inking overlay here. And I just washi taped down the two pages together where I want that cut line. I'm dividing the page in half there on the right side. So I'm using that as a, like a sharp line. And then I also put some on the bottom of the other page. That worked out pretty well. And then I'll do the same thing I did on the opposite spread here at the top, mixing the colors and kind of making a muddled top sky look up here. And that is a good start to what I think I need as a background. I'm going to go ahead and lay in those trees and the white washi tape snow overlay there. I basically just ripped it down a little bit, um, each overlay of the white washi tape to again kind of create a snow drift look or a snow bank look. Again, I think it could look really good with or without it, but I feel like it grounds the trees a little bit better. So I like the addition of it, even though it does hide a bit more of the media overlay. Again, I'll add these trees here on the right-hand page. Pulling in these quotes, these washi tape quotes, again, that I got from the washi tape shop in a roll. I do find that my sticker collection is a little bit weak as far as quotes. I have plenty of boxes and then I think I have enough decor, but now I'm like noticing that there's really not a lot of quotes. So I was really happy to have that washi tape quote roll to use. It was perfect for the spread. Had some really nice classic looking elements in there and a little bit of gold, which I wasn't exactly sure I wanted to pull in the gold, but I think it works out in the end. And it's nice because on those 
school style stickers, you get a lot of repeats. So it makes it a lot easier to do a full month of the same theme because you have plenty of stickers to choose from. And okay, I think we're all set with that washi tape at the top to complete the spread. And now we'll move on to the first quadrant weekly layout for the month. And in the past, I've done this before where I pull in um, all of the spreads for the whole month on this one wax paper. Just trying to emulate where I would be putting those stickers there in the this week box, which is the very first box on the spread. Since I'll be using this layout for lettering each day, I need the full space of each day. So it's, it's really hard to add in decor in and around those days without really kind of tightening up the space I have for the lettering. So for the month, I'm going to just focus on adding decor in that this week box and kind of leave it as is from there. Sometimes I'll add in some washi tape at the top or in the sides or even across the middle. This month, I think it'll be just enough to focus a little bit of decor there on the this week area and then just leave the rest blank because I will be filling out each week with those lettering verses. And just trying to pull in the right balance of trees and color here and size. I ran out of those lighter green toned trees in good sizes to use to really help balance things out. So I had to play with the perspective a little bit to try to make things feel natural. Now, just trying to see if there's anything I wanted to pull out of that Happy Planner sticker book, but it looks like I really didn't find anything in there that I could use. There is some gold elements in that Happy, I think it's called Happy and Kind Faith sticker book, which I thought I might be able to pull in here with that little bit of gold that's in the quotes. I really didn't want this to be a very gold heavy layout. I really liked the more focus on the blues and the greens. So we'll focus on those instead and just stick with the smaller, lighter gold quotes here that are mixed in with some black. So I think I've got all four spreads kind of mapped out of how I will be doing it there on each this week area. And because I will be kind of creating that scene just in that box, I'm going to tape down this empty sticker sheet and use that as a masking element so that I can get a nice sharp line at the bottom of the day. I'm always a little worried with the washi tape. Sometimes they stick a little bit harder than I want them to and will pull up the paper if I'm, you know, not careful. So just trying to alleviate some of the stickiness on some of these so that when I pull it up, it releases easily from the page. I also don't want things to move around too much while I'm doing this effect. So just trying to be careful there and have everything placed down well with that washi tape. And I just kind of noticed that I was getting some ink onto the background there. So just using a little bit of water to clean it up. They are water-based, so they do come up pretty easily. Oxides as well do not leak through the page, which is really nice. This year I'm using some hammer mill paper for my inserts and it's not, I've noticed that it's definitely not as good a quality as the HP 
premium paper I was using in years past. So I was a little bit bummed by that. It's definitely ghosting a lot more than that paper did before. So the hammer mill paper I would not recommend. It's good enough, I guess, if you just need something that will handle some duplexing. But if you're doing any kind of heavy ink, even if it's water-based, I've noticed that it just it still goes a little bit through the paper. It's definitely lighter weight than the um, HP Premium paper. I definitely will be purchasing the Premium 32 paper. And because of that, I will link both down below in the description. The one you're seeing me here use is the hammer mill, but again, I recommend the HP's 32 premium paper. And we've got our first scene down. We'll add in some washi tape overlay. Again, just to kind of repeat those elements, create that unified theme look. Move on now to the second page. Basically just dropping in this decor. And this is really going to be it. I'm not going to go crazy with decor, like I said, this first month. Just let it be a little bit more sparse, a little bit more empty space, because I will be filling each day with a burst. So it'll be plenty full when I'm done. I really like those funny things, stickers. Her sticker book's really great for having lots of options for decor and different sizes and shapes. They just was the perfect way to get a nice full month of one theme together. Lots to choose from and really easy to make it happen. I feel like I need a little something else here in the corner. So I'm going to add that in. Just find a little bush that will work. Again, overlapping with the white washi tape. And here's the last one. Let's go ahead and move these guys over. I'll overlap this guy just a smidge. Like that. Save that extra piece in case I can reuse it. And add that snow overlay. Again, I feel like I could use another tree on this one. So maybe I can put it here in the background. That actually looks pretty good. So originally I wasn't going to do this back page. I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I'm planning on using this page because it is just a nice empty space for things, but I have that overview page now, so I don't really need another place to put things. But maybe what I'll use it for is a Bible study each month. Maybe I'll do like a focus study, a 12 week study of some sort, and then use this to kind of write down some ideas and things. That's the plan right now, so we will see if that works out. I'll just go ahead and do some minimal decor to tie it all together with the month and just finish off the look and feel. I'm kind of running out of the right size of the trees here to make this work. <laughs> so just trying to play around with what's left and Again, the scale of them, some of them are a little bit small, some of them are a little bit too large, so just trying to do more of a perspective atmosphere to make things work. 
Maybe I'll trim a few of these off so that they look a little bit smaller than they are. That might work a little bit better. We'll see. Got a good little cluster going. Move these guys over. Those look good. Just trim off the excess and save those if I can to use later. And again, adding in some washi tape overlay just to get those snowy feels. And that looks good. See another quote here to finish out the center. That one's good, but it feels a little bit off center. So let's move that over a bit. Might have to shorten up one of those washi tape strips. And that's much better. And okay, so here's where I kind of was second guessing using that washi tape at the top, but then I was like, well, it doesn't want to come up, so we'll just leave it. <laughs> and I think it looks good, like I said. I've gotten used to it now. It's just being indecisive on the day. I'm going to try to see if I can find a place for some of these leftovers, just to add a little bit more dimension to some of these spreads. I think I've pretty much used all the ones that I can. I'm going to add in that washi tape here at the top. I decided not to add in the media overlay, the, the inking in the top. Just use the washi tape, kind of simplify things, and wrap it around that notes header. I think that was a nice finishing touch. And now we will drop it into the planner so you can kind of see how it looks. And then we will actually do a little bit of filling out on the overview page so you can see how it turns out. But real quick, I'll need to clean out this hole that I almost forgot about so that I can actually pop it in my planner. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. Just using my precision cutter. So there are the completed spreads. And let's go ahead and jump over to the overview. So I went ahead and pre-highlighted the habit tracker area and I'll put in the habits I plan to track there. These are the same habits I've been tracking for years. I do my morning prayer, my daily reading I mentioned earlier, the summary now that I'll be adding in as well as my lettering practice. So just my faith morning routine, I've just been tracking that. I'll just continue that habit tracking system here on the overview. And then I will transfer over the prayer list items from December that are still kind of ongoing or things that are still needing prayer. And in the past, I've been dividing up my prayer list into friends, family, uh, people outside of my sphere of influence, and then myself. That worked great. I used that for about two years. I'm going to go back to just a simple prayer list of whatever, since I don't really have the space to divide it up here on the spread. But I will separate out my own kind of prayer requests here at the very bottom. That'll be easier too if I have new prayer requests coming in over the month. It'll be easy to just drop those in and pray for them as they need to be prayed for. I also went ahead and penciled in a verse that I'll letter here now in this like large decor area. 
So this will be the verse of the month and I was doing this on the bullet journal style spreads I did last year where I did the cover page with a verse for the month. I really liked that so I'm going to continue that here on the overview spread. And I'm just using a Fudenosuke brush pen which I'll use as well throughout my system of lettering along with a Pigma Micron you know I think a point three or five tip. Quickly erase the pencil lines. I'll fill out the items below as the month progresses in the currently section. Once I'm done with that, you guys, we will be done with this setup and all set. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Also too, go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Bye.